why are men at risk for osteoporosis and why should they worry? They seem to have stronger bones. What are some of the signs that one might see in men? And are there certain conditions in men that make them at higher risk as well? Well, this depends if one refers to osteoporosis simply based upon uh, DEXA results and a T-score, or if you define it as having an osteoporotic fracture. Um, unfortunately, many men are only diagnosed once they've actually had the fracture. And so anything which increases the risk of falling, Parkinson's disease, myasthenia gravis, et cetera, uh, can, be the, can cause a fall. And, and then a, a, a man can be diagnosed with osteoporosis. Now, as you pointed out, men do have age-related loss of bone mass, as do women. And also, um, it, it, it's, not, you know, it's not accurate to say that women are, have estradiol up until perimenopause and then they're estrogen deficient, but men have it all their life because testosterone levels, which is the source of estradiol in men does decline with age. And there is a subpopulation of men who are hypogonadal, who have low testosterone as well. And, and they are as likely to develop osteoporosis as is a woman who becomes hypogonadal whether it's natural or unnatural, even if it's for menopause. Um, but um, uh, men in many ways bear the brunt of worse osteoporosis than do women. Women are more likely to get the most classic of osteoporotic hip fractures, which is a femoral neck hip fracture. Men are more likely who get a hip fracture, more likely to have a lot more comorbidities, alcoholism, overweight, um, uh, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease. They're, they're sicker patients, which causes them to fall. And they usually get a trochanteric hip fracture from the impact of the fall across the trochanter of the hip. And so they get somewhat different fractures. And because of their comorbidity, they have an increased mortality. So um, men are more likely to have secondary osteoporosis and women are more likely to have primary osteoporosis. Um, and men often have uh, more co comorbidities when they, when they fracture. But um, I mean, a, a man and a woman with celiac disease are equally likely to develop osteoporosis. A man or a woman who is hypogonadal are pretty much equally likely to develop uh, osteoporosis, but it has to do with the uh, most autoimmune diseases are more common in women than in men, and women will all eventually lose their estrogen, and the average man doesn't. And that's what really produces the gender difference.